Hero boys and gals, welcome back to uh, another Chrissy G Brew video. Today we're just gonna casually hit a flawless game on Nuketown. N you know, not a big deal. Not a big deal whatsoever. But anyway, uh, as this uh, game's in the background, why don't we talk about uh, the story videos I'm supposed to be uploading? So, uh, as you can see in the description of my YouTube channel, I'm supposed to be uploading story videos every so often, but I haven't been doing that. I'm sorry. So, for... In return, I'll do one right now, baby. So, uh, sit down, butter up your butter corn, and let's get right into this Mason I Mean story. Sorry, I'm just thinking about Mason. He's always on my mind. But anyway, uh... I'm gonna be talking about a story of, uh, of uh, when me and my friend Adolf2211, otherwise known as Austin, were uh, walking down the street, and some shit happened. So uh, I'm gonna start this from the beginning. So I was uh, spending the night at my friend, my friend's house, Austin. No, Adolf2211. He was just, you know, gas and Nazis. Normal thing. Everyday thing. And, uh, yeah, and so anyway, he he looked at me after he just gassed a bunch of Nazis. And he said, Chrissy G, do you want to, perhaps, walk outside? And I said, yes. It was only 2 o'clock in the morning. It was only a great time gas and Nazis, so he finished off his last his last batch of Nazis and uh, he walked outside, just casually walking, walked past a big dick in the sky, it was a beautiful day, by day I mean night, well anyway, so uh, we were walking by, and so we get to the stoplight, right, and we uh, we we look out into the distance and see something not not so grand, if you could say. It is uh we see these legs of what well, I think is dogs, right? And so I think a bunch of wolves are uh, or coyotes are uh, right there, like not even 50 feet away from us. So uh. Ah, uh, dude, I know what my bo boy Adolf would say. Dude, he's a strong, independent black woman, dude. So, I do what I think he'd say, right? Stand my ground. I'm standing firm. I clench my ass cheeks. Dude, this is a good stance, I say to myself. I'm in the... I'm, I'm in, dude. I'm just in. Then, uh... As uh, feet start walking closer, I, I see it's just a mother deer and it's children. I'm like, oh, not as dangerous, but should stay away. Turn around to uh, wonder, to ask Austin if uh, we are to keep standing our ground. And he's fucking gone. He's halfway across the street. He's, he's booking it. My boy Adolf is running away from his Nazis. And uh, say to myself, well, hot diddly fuck. So I drop my shit, get out of my stance, and I start booking it. So I get up to Austin. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You were supposed to tell me to stand my ground. He was, he was not having it, dude. He was, he was. <laughs> He was a thing. But anyway. Um, since we're only like halfway through the game, I'm gonna tell another story. Of something that happened to me. It involves my father. And the discovery of fapping. So I was just, you know, being Chrissy G. Doing as I please in my room. And then, uh. You know, just fapping away, wailing at my dick. You know, not a care in the world, thinking nobody's gonna walk in. Here, knock at my door. It's my father, right? So I eat shit and try to turn off the porn hub. 
or wherever the fuck I was watching. And then since I have no lock on my door, just walk straight in. And so that happened. And he just stares at me dead in the eyes. And walks out. Now I'm just thinking, well, hot diggly fuck. Uh, my dick went limp. It was a horrible time, man. Horrible. Just uh, never. Zero out of ten would, would not do again. But anyway, that night, I went to the store, he bought me one of them done here locks. That's, <laughs> that's where I was at, man. That's how I was doing, man. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, now let's talk about this game. Because I think we're like two thirds into it. So, uh, as you can see, I haven't died yet. Almost every single kill has come from either a Cerberus or a Mothership. Right? So, that's the strategy of Nuketown, man. Just get yourself a Cerberus, control it, have that Mothership. That's how you get the Mothership. Uh. Anyway, man. As you can see, we're 34 and 0 right now. I haven't died. It's pretty good, man. At this point, I was literally shaking. I'm still shaking from that. Uh. So, uh, at this Cerberus, we kept on we kept on getting EMP'd. I think they figured out our secret, man. Our Asian secret. That's just not how I do, so I fucked them all. Every single one of them. Now, I don't know why the teammates aren't, uh, showing up as teammates on the theater mode, but if I don't shoot at them, that means they're teammates. And as you can see right now, my service is about to die. Oh, what the fuck is it doing? What the fuck? Oh my god, what is it doing? Ah, oh, that damn Tempest. I get this bitch back, though. Two times over. Ah, uh, that's how we do, baby. That's how we tuck it. As you can see, I just run through with purifier in hand. Dick and butt. I start wrecking their shit. Ripping their dicks. Mm. I only got two purifiers this match, but it's all we need. It's all we need. And right now we're at 42 kills, right? I'm thinking hot diggly hot damn. Call the police and the Chris Good man. But... Uh, now that's just how we roll. The, right here, I thought I was dead. Turns out that guy was AFK. I booked it the fuck over here. And then fuck that guy. Uh, put my Cerberus back there. And, uh, go to kill that AFK guy. No, free kill. Never hurt anyone. Then I go back to my stance. And I hold my ground. Cerberus in hand. Uh, as the game's about to end up here, with me in a Cerberus. I did pretty good, man. At the end, we went 47 to 0. And we did what we came to do, just like he said. Anyway, have a fantastic evening. <laughs>